During his past two years with the White Sox, Liam Hendricks established himself as a team leader, but the relief pitcher is temporarily stepping away from the game after revealing that he has been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin lymphoma and is starting his treatment today. In a post on his Instagram page, Hendricks said, I am resolved to embrace the fight and overcome this new challenge with the same determination I have used when facing other obstacles in my life. Hendricks turns 34 next month. The prognosis will depend very much on the kind of lymphoma, um, but as a young person um, has a best chance. Dr. Jane Winter, an oncologist with Northwestern Medicine, says non-Hodgkin lymphoma is more common among adults age 60 and older, but can also be found in children and young adults. It's a cancer that starts in the white blood cells and accounts for about 4% of all cancers, according to the American Cancer Society. The survival rate for at least five years post-diagnosis is more than 70%. These days, we have many, many different treatments, uh, depending upon the subtype. Some of them are um, not even chemotherapy-based, but immunologically-based. In a show of support for the three-time All-Star, White Sox general manager Rick Hahn released a statement that says, Knowing everyone involved, especially Liam, we are optimistic he will pitch again for the White Sox as soon as viable. In the meantime, we all will do everything in our power to support our teammate and his family as they face this challenge while also respecting their privacy. White Sox general manager Rick Hahn says the team does not expect an update on Hendricks status before the team's opening day on March 30th. Hendricks says he is confident he'll make a full recovery and will be back on the mound as soon as possible. Karen Jordan, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.